Hello, my name is Hendrik Hehl. I'm from Saarland University, Germany. The work I'm presenting here is based on the question, why does nature use as closure for cells and organelles lipids and not its usual binding blocks, proteins, and would this be possible at all? This question is especially driven by the existence uh, of a uh, class of amphiphilic proteins called hydrophobins. We use here hydrophobin HFP1, which is naturally produced by filamentous fungi. It has a diameter of three nanometers, and with its very amphiphilic nature, it shares similarities to typical phospholipids. So the question is, can we create bilayers and vesicles with these proteins, and can we use them then as a basis for artificial cells? So the first step is that we know from it absorption studies that this protein likes to cover water interfaces and readily uh, builds very dense monolayers here. If we bring two of these layers together, for example, in the langmuir schaefer like way or in a droplet interface bilayer in a petri dish or in microfluidics, uh, we can create bilayers. And thereby we can contact these layers either with the hydrophobic or with the hydrophilic side and receive, receive in both cases stable bilayers in contrast to what is possible with lipids. So to quantify the properties of these bilayers, we employed several techniques. Um, by measuring, for example, the contact layer, uh, the contact angle here, we were able to determine the interaction between two bilayer sheets and also to measure the tension inside these bilayers. The elasticity we measure by stretching freestanding parts of the bilayer uh, with an AFM tip. In both cases, we find that bilayers are much stronger and stiffer than lipid bilayers. So from these bilayers, we can now create vesicles um, with a method called microfluidic jetting which is basically the same as blowing soap bubbles just on a smaller scale. Um, with this, we were able to create stable water and water vesicles, but also oil and oil and even air and air vesicles. So on the road to artificial cells, a crucial question is now if these vesicles and bilayers can also be equipped with functional pores and channels. We first tried this with the simple gramicidine A channel and could see, yes, it's fully functional. With the much larger hemolysine pore, we could see a massive increase in the ion permeability of these bilayers. Speaking of permeability, the water permeability of these HFP1 bilayers is, however, extremely small, more than two orders of magnitude lower than that for typically DOPC bilayers. In the future, we'd like to increase and control this property by inserting special, specialized water channels. In summary, it's possible to create bilayers um, and vesicles with these proteins and with the higher stability um, and the possibility of building compartments also in oily environments, they might be employed in scenarios where lipids fail. Moreover, with the insertion of transmembrane proteins uh, and or modification of uh, the hydrophobins via genetic engineering, uh, the possibilities of changing and controlling the properties of these bilayers are huge. So with this, I'd like to thank you for watching this video and be happy to meet you in the actual poster session where I'd be able to answer your questions. See you there.